The Cardinals, fresh off a sweep in Seattle, head a little south on the West Coast, headed to the Bay, the best ballpark in MLB, bar none. Oracle Park, as they take on the San Francisco Giants, the key batter in this one is going to be Mitch Hanniger. See him there, and you know, when the focus is on a batter for the CPU, be very careful. You can see three home runs already, batting 310. Ross Stripling on the mound for the Giants. A little personal history. If you remember a couple years ago, we blew a 3-1 lead in the NLCS. So the reverse LeBron. And uh, he was the pitcher that we acquired that ended up taking the L in Game 7 against Wainwright. Figures, huh? Goldie, though, gets things started. A little revenge. Two-run home run for Paul. His fifth of the season. He continues to slug well. Lots of extra base hits for Goldsmith to this point in the year already. And that would bode well for Jack, right? Really ballooned ERA. Getting close to that evil number of 6.66. But looking to get things under control. Would he be able to? We'll see. Hey, guess what? It's Hanniger. Oh, guess what? He gets a hit. Ty's not able to get to the ball. That ball's obviously dropping and he's drives and runs. So didn't even take long for the curse to come through. Bottom of the second, Estrada up to bat. And he's going to tie it up. He's going to go yard to left. Carlson just not able to get there. 2-2 two, two game. So Flaherty, as he's known to do, giving up the home run ball. Ouch. Giants have another run in the bottom half of the second, 3-2. But hey, O'Neal makes up for not being able to get to the ball by driving in a run, so we're back knotted at three. Going to the fifth, Giants have gone to the pin. Esquifani in, induces the 5-4-3 double play, but that still scores a run for the Cardinals. Flaherty in the fifth, able to get a strikeout, so gets out of trouble to preserve the 4-3 lead for the Cardinals. Take another look at that K there. He pitches well. If we can just keep the ball in the ballpark. A lot of hits given up in this one though. Six hits to this point. In the sixth inning. An ugly swing and chase there. So Slater is going to K. Yeah, you can tell his teammates not that thrilled about that. Cardinals. Looking for some insurance. It would take to the eighth inning to get it. You can see Gorman shoots one out to left. Throws offline, so that will score Goldie. Add a little insurance. And Helsley will be in looking to get his ninth save of the season. The area of 2.08 and 8 for 9. Would he be able to grab it? Slater. Huh. Questionable strike call there. Peterson with a runner on. Also strikes out. So Helsley able to get two Ks. Preserving the wins. The Cardinals 4-0 on this road trip. They are 6-3 winners in this one. So looking at the stats for the bats. Goldie with three hits. Three for four. But doing really well. Edmund, two hits as well. Carlson driving in a run too. Flaherty need to get a little bit of control there. Um, weird start for him. Nine Ks over six innings, three runs allowed, four walks, a couple wild pitches, six hits, a little bit of everything for him, good and bad. For the Giants, Peterson, two hits. Estrada, Flores, Hanniger, all getting a hit in this one. Stripling, ouch, four runs over four innings, eight hits allowed, two strikeouts, bullpen eh, decently better but the Cardinals open up the series with a excuse me a win on the road six to three Looking around the league since Cincinnati overcomes a two-run deficit in the ninth inning as they are 10-9 winners against the Rangers Eovaldi a terrible start for him seven runs allowed four walks and 11 hits over four in the third but they had a ginormous lead. They blew it though. They were up seven to two. Ouch. 
Giants, or sorry, Reds, 14 hits. Lots of extra base hits there. You see six, four doubles and two triples. Weaver wasn't great either. Seven runs allowed, 10 hits, three and two thirds innings. Funny, as bad as those pitchers pitch, neither gets a loss. The Royals, winners on the road against the D-backs, nine to five. Ryan Yarbrough, solid start for him. One run allowed over six innings, four hits. Bullpen tried to give it back. For the D-backs, Cattell Marte, everyone loves that guy. Three run home run. And that pretty much paced most of the offense for the D-backs. Nelson, not great. Six runs allowed, and he takes the loss. The Angels, 8-4 winners against the A's. You see, Aledmus Diaz drives in for all of the runs for the A's, but it obviously will not be enough. James gets the loss. For the Angels, Rendon showing signs of life down there. 3 of 4, Taylor Ward, 2 of 4, Otani with one hit. Sandoval gets the win, 4 runs allowed, over 7 innings, 8 Ks, 5 walks, lots of walks there.